Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Mazen. I'm the founder and CEO of Mosh Labs. It's a pleasure to be here today to tell you more about the break of dawn in food. Um, as a lot of you know, we have a very broken food system. Our current food system actually accounts to more greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions than the whole transportation system combined. This is an alarming number, and this is a number where we see that we need to have actions today, not in 10 years, not in 20 years, and not in 50 years. With our food system, we mainly leave around 30% of the food that is produced to go to waste. So we see that circularity becomes a very important aspect when we think about new ways to produce food. With all of this, we have 50% of our planet's habitable land being depleted. And at the same time, which is very scary, almost 1 billion people on Earth today do not have access to equitable and healthy food. And this is why it becomes very important for us at Mush Labs that it's not only about replacing meat, it's about rethinking food systems, it's about building a more healthy, a more sustainable, and a more circular food system. We do that by unlocking the full potential of mushrooms. We are a bunch out of Hamburg, Germany, that are so in love with mushrooms, and we look at it from that sense. Everyone here, I assume, already knows mushrooms and have already, at some point in their lives, have tried mushrooms. What is so amazing about them is they have a wonderful taste and texture. The taste is very umami-driven, so it's very savory, goes into meat or cheese very naturally and on its own. But mushrooms as well have a very exquisite um, texture. On top of that, while everyone is talking about alternatives to protein, when everyone is talking about how do I do plant-based protein products, we want to be um, advocates for a more holistic approach to nutrition, and we see that mushrooms give us exactly that. Mushrooms have amazing quality of proteins, but they also have amazing fibers. They have a lot of vitamins and minerals, and a lot of that is obviously needed on a daily basis. The very exciting thing in tech for us about mushrooms is mushrooms are not plants. They're their own kingdom. And as such, they can grow on basically anything in nature. And I'm sure anyone here who's been to the forest has seen at some point mushrooms growing on wood logs, which is, let's say, um, leftover in nature. So all of this makes for us mushrooms very exciting. And what we do at Mush Labs, however, is try to focus on the roots of the mushrooms something that we call mycelium. The reason we do that is because with the help of mycelium, we are able to mimic everything that nature gives us and put it in the lab setting to have a more efficient, faster uh, way of production. So we take mycelium from edible mushrooms that are usually existing in nature. We put it in a tank or a fermenter similar to beer brewing, and we are able to create a new way with a new process of growing food in tanks. The exciting thing about that is it allows us to create a way more sustainable food system. With these tanks, we produce or we use 215 times less water than growing cows or beef. At the same time, we have a production of 15 times less of CO2 emissions. And we do that in fractions of the time. So we are able to produce 110 times faster than producing meat from beef. And this allows us to, at the end, produce 100,000 times more meals per square meter than with cows. And that is one of the main exciting parts of building Mush Labs, is really rethinking sustainability, rethinking food systems, and how are we able to create things in a more sustainable way, but a more natural way. So we have this production that we have proprietary technology and, and, and IP on. Um, and from that, we are able to produce a very signature ingredient, a mycelium, uh, that we use mainly as our main ingredient that Felipe today is using to cook a few products for all of you. Um, 
the mycelium is grown in a very sustainable way, as I mentioned, in a very efficient and fast manner. But the very exciting thing is when we create the products, we have a very superior taste and texture that we are able to naturally create from the mycelium. We are able to produce and cook stuff very naturally, so there is no chemicals added. Anything that cooks and sizzles reminds you of food that you have already tasted or cooked at home. And we do that with a very minimal list of ingredients. This meatball that we have in front of us today has two ingredients. Um, the very exciting thing about mushrooms is that there are more than 2,000 edible known uh, or known edible mushroom species. The fungal kingdom on its own has around 12 million species. That is six times more than the plant kingdom combined. So you can imagine the opportunities and you can imagine the plethora of knowledge and data that one can get when we deep dive into the potential of mushrooms, whether it's taste, whether it's texture, whether it's the ingredient, whether it's going into different applications. For us in food, we have been able over the last couple of years to do exactly that. And as such, we have to de develop today over 20 different products, ranging from fish to dairy to meat. And what we have prepared today is actually an appetizer, which is a spread, and then a meatball. Um, the hosts will try it later, and I think we will have four uh, different samples that the people uh, in the audience can try. And this has caught the eye of a lot of exciting people. So we are partnering with amazing, um, world-famous chefs. Felix is a two-star uh, Michelin star chef and, a green, and has a green star um, coming from the south of Germany. And together with him, we were able actually to create um, a menu, a five or six course menu that encompasses everything from appetizers to meat to main courses to even desserts. This allows us to use the cre creativity that chefs can give us, coupled with the knowledge that we at Mush Labs have in terms of what can mycelium actually um, give us in terms of characteristics. And together, we want to develop literally the next generation of food produced in a new resilient way, in a more sustainable way, and a more circular way. When we say circular, we think about what do mushrooms do in nature and how do we mimic that? And as I said, mushrooms can grow on leftovers in nature. And while transforming this know-how into um, a lab setting and into a tank and brewery setting, we have been able to partner with amazing companies that produce a lot of leftovers from their industry, thinking about coffee waste, about beer waste, um, about dairy waste. We're able to take that kind of leftover um, introduce it into our system, and again, a proprietary technology, and let um, the mycelium grow on that. By that, we advocate for a more sustainable and circular system. Um, I would love to um, invite the hosts to have a um, quick bite. We did that in six minutes, so... Um, oh! oh my gosh, looks so good. So what you'll have here is a spread as an appetizer to dry quickly. Thank this you. This is less than five ingredients, um, with the mycelium being the main mm. ingredient. And on it's top safe of to that, eat, right? It's safe to eat. All it's right. edible mushrooms. And then we have um, the meatballs quickly. Mm. Mm. You know what? I had some kebab for breakfast today. This is equally good. <laughs> I think this is better. Mm. This is mm. super tasty. Thank you. I, I wouldn't know the difference, to be honest. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my god. I think it's with okay, me. I'm a fan. Okay, see you soon. Mm. All right, Thank thanks you. a lot. And um, Niklas will be on the side if anyone wants to try. If we are quick, we have a few products that we are able to um, let people taste. Thanks a lot.